Shipwreck hunter Ross Richardson knows the advances in sonar technology are a double-edged sword. On one hand, they help him find three undiscovered wrecks off the coast of Sleeping Bear Point in 2011. On the other hand, the advances in sonar technology probably mark the end of the shipwreck hunting era in the Great Lakes because he believes in the next 10 years all undiscovered wrecks will be found. Richardson discussed those two topics at the Great Lakes Shipwreck Festival. There's three different wreck sites out there, all about a quarter to half mile apart from each other, um, in anywhere from 12 feet to 20 feet of water. Uh, probably the most interesting one is wreck site C, which is artifact laden, just dead eyes, cable, pulleys, all types of implements from uh, maritime past. When I first found them, I was actually uh, searching for the wreck of the Westmoreland, which I found in 2010. And I didn't do my uh, due diligence and research in finding that these wrecks were uncharted and undocumented. So that's been part of my uh, part of my mission is to document these wrecks, film them, and I put uh, pictures and film on my website, michiganmysteries.com. The largest piece of wreckage is over 130 feet in length, so that's a pretty big ship. Another uh, keel section is 117 feet long, so they're very large vessels. I would say they uh, range from the 1850s to the 1890s is in the time they wrecked there. Why do you think these wrecks have not been discovered previously? Uh, possibly shifting sands, possibly the remoteness of the locale. It's a very remote area, so not a lot of boat traffic. So I think a combination of a couple different things. And I think they might have been buried maybe, you know, decades under the sand and just uncovered after a storm, and I happened to be there when they did. I think there's probably a couple hundred significant shipwrecks in deep water intact that are still uh, not yet found. So, but I also think that in the next 10 years, they're almost all going to be found. So we're at the very end of wreck hunting, which was an era in the Great Lakes. The wreck discoveries go hand in hand with uh, dive technology, and a lot of the wrecks now, you know, that need to be found are probably in that three to four hundred, four to five hundred foot range where dive technology is just getting to that point. So there's no sense looking for a wreck in 500 feet of water if you can only dive to 200 feet. So advances in dive technology are pushing that and advances in sonar, but you're right. The low-lying fruit is gone, so now it's the, it's the complicated ones that just sailed off and disappeared, and they could be anywhere, and that's a big lake out there, even bigger on the bottom because it, they could be anywhere.